Hi, I'm Danny Glover. And I want to talk about certainly the lies that led up to the war, the most recent war in Iraq. It's not the most recent war that we've had. We had, had conflicts in Afghanistan and Libya and now Syria. It's almost as if there's a domino effect and react, it, the reaction seems to be that way. But I think we have to go back a bit, what, a bit before the war itself. And it's funny when we think about it, the war was started more than 13 years ago. We have to go back with the embargo placed on, on and sanctions placed on Iraq, which devastated the country both economically, more than 500 children, 100,000 children died as a result of the sanctions placed upon Iraq during the Clinton administration. And to understand the all the lies, the lie that led up to the first Iraqi war, which brought about uh, an extraordinary devastation. So when we talk about the lie, which is now the fact that supposedly Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, they had those weapons, we see some uh, implements for those weapons from Niger, one of the poorest countries in Africa, all the, that happen without any consequences. And so subsequently, what we've had is beginning with after 9-11, beginning with the conflict in, in Afghanistan, then also under their idea of crushing Al-Qaeda. That was one of, these, one of the pretexts for that, Al-Qaeda being blamed for, for the Twin Towers, the destruction of Twin Towers. Yet we know now that, and we found out, that most of the people who were involved in that came from Saudi Arabia, one of our allies. So the string of lies continues from that moment with that Afghanistan to the, uh, the mass, the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And essentially, when we think about the role that Saddam Hussein played in the Middle East, since he, he was placed into power by the U.S. and the CIA, we look at the role that he's played, whether that's the war with Iran, uh, whether that's the, the other ways in which uh, his oppressive regime functioned within a, a country that upon its independence was a very secular, pluralistic economy and country. Uh, where the majority of the teachers there were women. All those dynamics have played out uh, to create this scenario that we see today. So I think we, we, we question what has happened. What is the project here, the project of the 20 uh, from the right? Um, Napoleon, when he went to, to Egypt, brought historians, brought artists, brought chroniclers, chroniclers, and he said that we conquered Egypt. He, brought, he wrote a history that he conquered Egypt. But once the lie was, was refuted, meaning that we realized that he did not conquer Egypt, history has changed. And what happens with this lie is that history has changed from 2003. And uh, some said that, that they were going to blow, blow to smithers, all right, until now.